Hey, what's up? My name is Michael Erickson Fasheen. I'm the founder of AdBadger. And today we're going to be talking about the app feature that I love, which is saved filters and bulk actions. Let me first talk about this. Um, so one thing I love about AdBadger is it gives us the opportunity as PPC marketers ourselves to think about new ways to analyze data and develop new workflows. So sort of looking and comparing and contrasting between the information and that is displayed in Amazon and then brainstorming what we think might be a more efficient or optimal workflow. That's what we've done here with our filters. So one of the limitations of Amazon is a workflow that I see a lot that people are trying to do and then struggling with optimizing their entire account is often they will log into Amazon, sort it by spend, sort it by ACoS, find a high ACoS campaign, click into it, optimize the keywords and targets there. And you know, that takes you know several minutes to do. And then they might go back to the main screen and open up another campaign and repeat the process, but they might have hundreds of campaigns and there's no way they can go inside campaign by campaign uh, or even with dozens of campaigns, you might not want to go campaign by campaign in order to make these changes. Often, a lot of things fly under the radar when people optimize like this. Now, you might want to use the targeting tab inside Amazon, but there are some limitations to that. There's no savable filters, so you can quickly and easily on demand, find the things that you want every time. Um, versus Ad Badger, you can create a saved filter one time and have it on demand anytime. So we'll demo this in a second, but if you ever wanted to find your groups of keywords and have them listed, you know, show me every keyword without any orders and no clicks so I can boost the bid up 20%. Show me every keyword with over with an ACoS over 100% so I can reduce the bid down by 30%. Show me every uh, auto target that has an ACoS over 50% so I can reduce the bids 10%. All of that stuff uh, you is very difficult to do inside the default Amazon interface, which is why we created saved filters to get this done quickly. In addition, Amazon has about 12 filters you can choose from and AdBadger has about 30. Um, because we're able to use data and be a little bit more nimble, we're able to add in and continue to add in filter options for the same entity like a keyword. So let's talk about new ways to view data before we go and look at the filters. Let's say you wanted to view the performance of every campaign with the word Badger in it. So you would go to your campaign view and you type in the word Badger, and then you'd find all the campaigns with the word Badger inside of it. But what if you wanted to do something slightly different and still incredibly useful? Change up your workflow, make it more efficient. Instead of viewing the campaigns with the word Badger in it, why don't we view the keywords of every campaign with the word Badger in it? Now, all of a sudden, you can begin to optimize much more efficiently. So let's say you were selling coffee cups. You could say, show me every keyword with uh, inside a campaign and, in, and only the campaigns with the word Badger inside of it. So all of a sudden now you're viewing groups of keywords based off what their campaign name is. It just allows you to analyze data in a new way. When you combine filters and this, it just allows you to create super quick ways, super quick views inside AdBadger's ad manager. So let's actually jump in and begin to look at some of these filters and how you can use that with bulk actions to create new ways to think about and optimize your campaigns. Let's jump into the AdBadger interface. Okay, so here I am inside of our demo account. Uh, and one thing that I love to do is I love to click the view all, and then we have options. You can view all keywords, view all targets. Uh, for this example, let's click view all keywords. You can also save this URL uh, into a bookmark and just click it and instantly go to the list of all of your keywords after you sign in. So you can see here that we've got lots of information in this dummy account all about vitamin C. Now, let's say I wanted to view my list of keywords. And in this example, there's just 100 keywords. Um, so let's say I wanted to view a smaller group here and only view things with uh, maybe an ACoS over... So I would go to ACoS is above or equal to 100%. And let's just say I just wanted to log in once a week and decrease the bids on everything with an ACoS over 100% by 25%. So I can save this filter ACoS over 100%, decrease bid by uh, 25%. 
So I can save and apply that filter set. And then what I get is a list of keywords that meet those requirements. And I have some cool options there because I can go ahead and update bid and basically, you know, percentage decrease by 25%. So I can go ahead and apply that change. Once a week, I can log in and make that change. So by having these sort of saved filters, and what I love is to actually have the name of the action inside the filter, it just allows me or someone from my team hey, once a week, log into AdBadger, apply the filter, and perform the action. So A costs over 100%, decrease bid by 25%. And I can get even more creative with my filters. Let's say uh, I wanted to filter by campaign first. So I only wanted to look at the campaigns in my um, sponsored brand campaigns. So I can say vitamin C sponsored brand and vitamin C sponsored brand video. Now I'm only going to view the keywords in that area. So let's, this might be a ranking campaign you have, a branded, unbranded, whatever it might be where you just want to check in on the keywords in this campaign. You can go ahead and apply that, save that filter set so that the next time you log into Ad Badger, so let's save this, we'll call this sponsored brand keywords, save and apply that set. So now the next time I log in, I have a list of all of my sponsored brand keywords only. So let's see how that would work. So I'm in the dashboard. I come back over here. Uh, I have all my campaigns, but I, let's say I wanted to go view my keywords in a more refined way. You could see that I have options now. Do I want to go find my ACOS over 100% uh, where I'm going to be decreasing bids by 25%? Or do I want to view my sponsored brand keywords? So you can imagine the combinations of things that you could do. You can say, show me, you can create a filter for all of your campaigns in a certain portfolio. Uh, that's an option as well. So I can say, I only want to see the keywords in a particular campaign for all my vitamin C multipacks. Uh, I can go ahead and stack this filter as well. I can say, show me things in that portfolio uh, that have very few clicks, clicks are below. 10, uh, where maybe I would want to save this filter and say vitamin C multi pack, low clicks, increase bids by 25% on Friday. So I can save this task, I can save this filter, and now I can talk to people on my team and say, hey, once a week, go in and apply all the action filters. So just go do it manual. Uh, I want to do my things manual. And what's even greater about that is if you were to apply a filter, you can actually export this and someone from your team can actually share this with you um, so that they can send a summary of all the things that they took action on. Uh, so you can export this into a spreadsheet and it would look just like this. Uh, so you get lots of great data there for you. And you can have your team members take any notes about what keywords they found in any particular bucket uh, or uh, what they took action on. Uh, so that's a great way to use these filters and save them um, so to turn them into actions. I love this feature inside App Badger. The possibilities that you have, like I mentioned, are pretty endless. Even if you're a Kindle author, you can sort your keywords by reads or royalties, uh, ACOS, when things were created. So if you wanted to optimize uh, just the keywords that were created recently, so let's just say I wanted to create, uh, optimize my campaigns that were created in the month of September, boom, now I can optimize my keywords in the month of September, all the ones that I launched. Um, so you can do really cool things when you have a lot of different filter options. Uh, if you're using Bids by Badger, you might want to check in on the keywords that are being optimized by our algorithm or the ones that are not being optimized by our algorithm. You can check on the things with a target A cost and a range uh, or revenue per click. And we're always interested to add even more columns here. So it allows you to interact and engage with your campaigns in a new and different way. And you can repeat this process for your, your campaign negatives or your ad group negatives, your negative targets, your search terms. So you could do, do this exact same process with your search terms uh, or your ad groups or campaigns or your portfolios. So the ways that which you can dissect, save filters, immediately go to a group of filters and whatever you'd like to take action on, whether it be low clicks, no sales, low clicks, high sales, high ACoS, medium ACoS. You save those filters and you can apply manual actions to them. And I really enjoy this feature of Ad Badger because it took what used to be an impossible task using the interface or a very time consuming task using a bulk file where you have to download it 
apply your filter, perform your actions, you know, upload it back. Now you can do it exactly specifically inside Ad Badger. Um, and I love this feature and I hope you do too. And that's it. If you are an Ad Badger customer and you'd like to talk about filters, maybe get some ideas for filters, ways to optimize filters, uh, with actions to take on groups of keywords or products, uh, go ahead up to the resources tab and book a call with me and the rest of the PPC team. We would love to talk to you about your filters. Uh, and if you are curious on things that we have coming up uh, inside the app, you can head over to adbadger.com roadmap. Have a good one. This is Michael, and I'll see you inside the Badger Den.